The storms overnight, they caused a lot of people to have to rearrange travel plans, and even some of them spent the night in the airport. Yeah, that had to be a pain, and businesses mm -hmm. today lost sales because they had no power. Mike Ferris continues our coverage, joining us live now from the airport, where with more on the mess Mother Nature made. Meg? Absolutely, Sharice. Now, MSY is saying that those high winds and the severe weather that we had overnight did not cause any significant damage here at the terminal. They, there was a little bit of damage at some of the private areas with some of the private aircraft and the equipment on the airfield. Now, the terminal never lost power, and it does have full generator backup power. However, there were some technical glitches and some travelers with headaches. MSY workers spent the morning dealing with power surges, getting those flight displays to reboot, directing people around stopped escalators while weary travelers got some shut eye. I got cancer my, my tree for three times. I've been here in the airport for 30 hours. I left my home just in the morning, three in the morning. It was so bad. I'm so tired. One traveler coming back home from the Houston airport captured the storm in Texas. It got so dark, it looked like nighttime. Before I even sat down, they said everybody need, needed to get off the plane because high winds were coming. And you could hear everybody around me, everybody's phone alarms were going off because they were getting tornado warnings. She had to spend the night there with others trying to get to New Orleans for Tulane's graduation. I felt most bad for people who were coming here for graduation because there were a lot of parents on the flight talking about how they were trying to make these ceremonies this morning and unfortunately I think people missed them. Another traveler went to fill up and return the rental car and found this, closed pumps because of the power outage. So we had to bring the car into, into the return and they said they weren't going to charge us for the gas, which I hope not because their gas is $9 a gallon. Along airline, no noon lines at fast food drive throughs no lighted signs or dine-in customers. Customers at Charlie's Automotive Car Care Center in Kenner will have to be patient, just like the travelers. Everything was dark. You know, we have cars on the lift that all works by electrical, and uh, we can't even let them down. It's just a big inconvenience. How far behind is this going to put, put your work? Oh, as far as Friday, <laughs> I want to say probably two days. One customer from Wagaman described his neighborhood post-storm. Fences blown over, trees, limbs out in the middle of the street. It's like a tornado went through or something. It's a little inconvenient, but of course this is Louisiana. Now back here at the airport, MSY says that each airline carrier makes the decision to fly or not fly. So if you have something, you need to check with your carrier to see if there are delays or cancellations. Reporting live from MSY, Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana. All right, Meg, thank you so much.